everybody, Sean Pierce Johnson here for another edition of Stomp Box Saturday. Did you miss me? I sure missed this. Well, up on the stomping block to start off Pigtronics Month is the EP2 Envelope Phaser. The pedal that, well, sort of started it all. The Envelope Phaser was the first pedal that Pigtronics introduced when they first came into the pedal world, and it was very well received because, quite frankly, there was nothing really like it before. I mean, we've had envelope filters, but nobody had really applied that to any other effect other than an auto-wah type of sound. Well, me being a phaser addict, at one point I did own three Phase 90s alone, when I saw this thing, I knew I had to have one, and this is the second version of the envelope phaser, and quite frankly, I think it's an incredible improvement on an already awesome platform. And this thing, as you heard at the top of the video, is probably the funkiest pedal that you will ever get your hands on. So let's check it out. The envelope phaser is two effects in one pedal. Pretty cool multi-purpose. It's got the envelope phaser sound in it as well as a standard LFO type phaser. It's really easy to access both sounds. The left foot switch on the pedal switches between the envelope filter setting and the LFO phaser setting and the right foot switch turns the pedal on and off. And you can either have each effect stand alone or you can blend between the two. Pretty cool. There's five knobs and five switches on the face of the pedal. There's sensitivity, which sets the sensitivity at which the envelope will open. There is a depth knob, a center knob, a speed knob, and a resonance knob. Those four knobs are kind of going to be exclusively for the LFO side of the phaser, with the depth really kind of acting as how much of it you're going to hear. But when you set it in the center, it kind of changes the function of the center knob. The center knob, well, that's kind of an interesting knob. It's hard to really explain exactly what it does. You more just have to hear what it does. So we'll take a look at that a little bit later. Speed, pretty self-explanatory. And this thing can go from slow drone phase to probably phase faster than you really will ever need to. And then resonance kind of shapes the EQ curve of the phase effect on the LFO setting. The switches are really where you're going to find a lot of the tweakability magic in this pedal. The staccato function and the sweep function are for the envelope side. And then you can choose in the middle switch whether or not you want to combine both effects of the LFO and the envelope. It's a pretty cool effect and we'll take a look at that later as well. The LFO Smooth, the best thing that I can do to describe this is tell you that it's similar to the script button that you find on the MXR EVH Phase 90. Kind of smooths everything out, makes the effect a little bit more subtle. It's really cool. I like keeping it on pretty much all the time. And then the Invert Switch, this is another EQ tailoring. It helps you to keep the low end of your instrument or take away some of it, which makes this a pedal that works for both guitar and bass guitar. So let's check out some tones. I really love the LFO setting on this pedal. It's probably one of the most magical sounding phasers that you'll ever find in a pedal. Right now I kind of have it at a low setting, so this is what we got. feel 
of that movement. So let's check it out what happens when I take off the LFO smooth. You just heard it on. Now this is going to be where the resonance knob comes in handy. And that, like I said, kind of shapes the EQ of the phase. So you can kind of hear that it goes from gradually more subtle, shifting the frequencies on the higher end of the spectrum, and the more you turn it up, you start to feel that warble effect on the lower end of the spectrum. Now we're going to take a look at what the center knob does, and this is really one of those functions of a pedal that's really hard to describe. You almost just have to hear it. So I'm just going to strum a few chords and I'm going to turn the knob and you can see for yourself just exactly what it does. We're going to start with it completely counterclockwise and gradually turn it up clockwise. <laughs> So I don't know about you guys, but to my ears, it's almost like you're using it to find the point in the frequency spectrum at which you really start to hear that phase effect. It's the difference between having something that's almost univibe-esque to something that's more along the lines of a traditional phase sound. But that's one of the cool things about Pigtronics, is that their pedals dredge that line of tradition, but complete disregard for tradition and forging to the future. Enough with the LFO, let's get funky. Now what everybody's really going to want this pedal for is the envelope function. And the envelope phaser has probably got the best envelope filter effect that I've ever heard in a pedal. The cool thing about it is you can not only choose whether you want the sweep to go up or down, which we'll take a look at in a second, but my favorite part of it is the staccato function, which basically allows every single note that you play while using the envelope part of this pedal to go through the entire envelope cycle. So it doesn't matter how fast you play, every note is going to get its own envelope. So let's check that out. I mean, you can get some crazy kind of faux clavinet-esque effects going on there. So another cool part about the envelope side of this pedal is the sweep function. Now what you just heard was it going down, which is almost like going from heel down on a wah to toe down. So a pretty normal cycle. But by going to the opposite position, you get more of a toe down to heel down effect, which is kind of interesting. So let's take a look at that. really crazy. It's almost like a laser gun kind of effect. So, as you can see, a huge amount of sounds can be found in this pedal, and it is supremely funky. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this look at the envelope phaser from Pigtronics, and stay tuned for more awesome Pigtronics goodness in the weeks to come. So until next time, guys, happy stomping. Cheers. <laughs>